Other options for distributing your PowerPoint include sending it as a PDF. So you choose Save and Send, and then you choose to create a PDF or XPS document. It'll convert the whole PowerPoint into, into a PDF file. Of course, it's not going to have the annotations and stuff, but it's still going to have all that you had in that presentation. Another option is that if you're going to present at a conference or somewhere and you want to make sure that your presentation is going to play and you're going to use your a different computer other than your own original computer that you created the PowerPoint, what you can do is that you can uh, save and send it and you can package the presentation for a CD. Packaging a presentation for a CD, it means that it's going to include all the linked or embedded items such as videos, sounds, and fonts, and any other files needed for the package. So this makes it easy if you're using a specific font that's not in that other computer. It's going to collect all these pieces and package them into one file for the CD. Instead of nobody to really use CDs as much anymore, but uh, what you can do is you can still copy all that stuff into a folder. And um, so you click on copy to a folder. So instead of a CD, you just copy them to a folder. Then I'm going to put them on my desktop. And it's going to be a folder called Presentation CD. I'm going to click OK. And then it's going to say, it says that you chose to package all linked files and all that stuff. You should include all the files in the package. Do you want to include them? You say yes. And um, it's going to capture all those components. And here's the presentation CD, the folder. Now the folder has the actual PowerPoint. Also it has the all the pieces that go with it, including a player, the presentation package. The, the advantage of this is that even if the computer then does not have PowerPoint itself, wherever you're planning to present it, which is kind of rare nowadays, but just in case, you'll still be able to go to present it by simply launching it from that folder that you created earlier.